Hello there guys, welcome back to my channel, hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I am back, I am making a video on a mod that I have been really excited about looking at. Um, this mod is The Sims 4 Greasy Goods. It's actually a CC stuff pack rather than a mod, but it's kind of, yeah, <laughs> for me they kind of fall into the same category, so it's custom content. Um, I haven't been making videos recently um, just because I've been finding it a little bit difficult. I have been doing some speed builds, but this is like the first video I've done a voiceover in a while, so I am sorry um, and I'm excited to be doing one finally. But yeah, so we're going to be looking at this CC stuff pack today. I'm going to be showing you guys some of the stuff that it's included in it. Um, this is going to be uh, by, it, well it is, it's by Little Deeker. And um, it's the Greasy Good Stuff Pack, like I said. This is going to add fast food sort of custom content into your game. Now, if you guys have ever watched our videos before, then you'll know that I actually made a save file. Um, about a year ago, I think it was, I made a save file for the three base game worlds. And... Um, I included in it a McDonald's lot and I really really like it I just have this thing where I just really think it's cool when people make like real life things like McDonald's and Starbucks and stuff in The Sims 4 so when I saw this mod I was really excited about um, trying it out and seeing what it's like uh, in the game and if this is going to improve kind of the interactions with dying out for example I always found dying out to be like quite underwhelming so I am looking forward to seeing this so for this stuff back you don't actually need to have dying out that's really worth mentioning um, you just have to download a different file so this works for both people who don't have dying out and works for people who do so it's going to add like more stuff if you do have dying out so that's worth knowing um i think it's on public release now well i'm pretty sure it is public release now um so basically the um this pack is being inspired obviously by fast food restaurants especially mcdonald's it says that it was inspired by a nintendo ds game um mcdonald's e crew develop pro development program um that they used to train new mcdonald's employees i did not know that so um they just obviously saw this game and decided to make this pack um so basically, uh, yeah, this is the pack. You can see some screenshots on the Patreon page. I'm going to link the Patreon for you guys to, if you want to support the creator or like if you want to download from here. I'll we'll link this in the description below. Um, so like I said, these are the screenshots. You can see we've got some like boards, some electronic payment things, the sort of things you get in McDonald's now. And some sort of like retro kind of modern, uh, mix of both in my opinion, like kind of style of sort of like seating and stuff like that so that's really really cool so basically it's gonna add i think it's 69 build and buy items and then um there's an ea toilet that they tuned as well um so to download this all you're gonna have to do is just scroll to the bottom of this uh this page and it's gonna have all of the things that you need here so um basically we have um the first folder that we're going to be able to download is a separated package file where basically if you don't have dine out you need to down you need to download this and delete certain items so i think they are like labeled of which ones you need to delete so you download this and then you just extract it so you can open the folder delete the files that you don't want and then copy and paste into your sims 4 mods folder if you're struggling to find your Sims 4 mods folder, I actually made a video on how to find it and how to install mods. So if you are struggling with that, then you can check that out for a full explanation. Um, and then if you do have Dine Out, you can download the merge package. Um, so what you need to just do is find it here. Um, this one is the merge package. And then we also have one for logos. So the one for logos is going to add logos to the thumbnails of the catalog items. So you can kind of like organize and tell which is a CC. So that is really, really useful. So if you want these, just click on them and it will automatically start downloading in your bar here. And once it's downloaded, like I just said, you just put it in your Sims 4 mods folder. It's very, very straightforward and easy to install. And then you can go into your game and, um, yeah, you can start straight away. So I'm going to go into my game. I'm going to show you guys some of the building by objects and kind of just what they look like. Okay, so here I am in the game and I'm actually in a McDonald's. Um, so this McDonald's is on the gallery um, that you can download. I actually think this might be the one that I use in my save file. Um, I just wanted to show you guys who created it. So this this one, this is by Lisa Cuppin, um on the Sims 4 gallery. It's literally the most popular one if you just search McDonald's. So it's pretty easy to find if you guys like the look of it and it's got like um 
the McDonald's logo and stuff, you make using the custom art sort of thing. So it's not custom content at all. It's this is just CC free. So I just thought it'd be um, nice to get in here so we can like add some of the objects in here for like the new um, CC. So I'm just gonna delete a few things so that I can like put some stuff down. So um, let's see, how do I find this? So um, if I go to find my custom content, um, I will. Everything just shows up with this little icon, like I said, next to it. So we have a few items to look at for this. Um, we actually have food as well, which is really, really cool. So um, we've got this, which is just a little leather seat. Um, I'm just going to lay everything out so you can see it. Um, we've got booths, just things that like you would genuinely generally see in like McDonald's. So this is one of the retail counters. So we actually get brand new counters to put here instead. Um, we get some double tables. We actually have like quite a few versions of the same table, um, like this. So just filling it up with everything. Um, this is a, a urinal. Uh, so we have that. That's interesting. I haven't actually seen like. I don't think they have urinals in the base game, do they? I might be wrong. I don't think they do. Um, and then like this EA toilet as well, um, which we've seen before. Um, we've got some decal for the wall. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. And then we actually have grills as well. So if you guys notice, it's actually got loads of fries in it. And like, yeah, so it's got like um, these little fries in it um, with the bucket, which I just really, really love. I think that is so cool. And then we actually have like a bigger fryer as well. So like, as you can see, these are a lot more detailed than like the Sims, sort of like um, the EA ones. Um, and is that the same thing? Oh, we've got a burger station as well. That is so cool. That is really cool. Like all the, um, you can actually see the nuggets and stuff, <laughs> and the um, fillet of fish. That's what it looks like to me. Uh, that's the same thing. And then we have this one, which is just like a thing of grease. Like look at that. Like it's got like uh, bubbling grease on top of it. I don't know whether it like works. I don't know whether these are, like assigned to be counted, um, to be ovens. I wonder if they're functional. Uh, I think they're deco actually. Uh, I think it's just decorational. Um, and then we have like some ducts as well, like some air ducts. Um, I don't know about you guys, but when I used to go to McDonald's when I was a kid, like the, they used to have like, these massive air ducts, like all the way across the, the roof. I just really distinctly remember, in, remember that. I don't know if it was deck or whether it was like, gen like it was meant to be like that. I don't know. Um, then we have urinal divider, I meant to show you guys. So we have that, it's still urinal divider for like um, the urinal that I showed you. Um, and then we have uh, some sauce. So we have like a packet of sauce that is actually so cute. Look how small it is. And we have a burger container. Um, we have the fry scoop. We have an open burger box. Um, we have a salt shaker. Um, those are for the toilet stores as well, actually. So we've got some toilet decor. We've got a wet floor sign as well. Really good. Um, I think that has to go in that. So like we have a toilet, like it's a fun, um, a custom toilet, like with a lock on it. That's really cool. Um, and then we have a napkin holder as well. We have a food serving tray. Um, just like the ones you get you get at McDonald's. Uh, and then like some fries. Um, a drink. A, and like burgers and stuff. So we have like different ones. So like they actually have like different, um, like name so like that one is chicken supreme we have crispy bacon supreme and we have like the rocking 50s with like some different burgers then we have like these big teal things that you tend to get at mcdonald's now where like you have to swipe and um like put your pin in and touch the screen before you go up to the desk um those are not part of it and then we have this like burger icon with like this little decal for the wall we have some menu displays so like those are like um as you can see, these are like these are custom content pictures that someone has put in. Um, with Dino, we never really got anything like this, so that is like really cool. So we can replace like all of this up here for these. So we've got like menu options, and they're like illuminated boards as well. They look almost like TVs. That is really really nice. We have this light up sign. Um, we have some wall dividers made of sticks. Um, we also have like this graphic one as well. Um, super nice and then we have a few lights as well so we have some squared spotlights as you can see here um 
and we have uh, kind of like this this little light here um, we have some like larger lamps as well um, and these like obviously hang down to different sizes so that is really really nice this just messing this whole thing up just like slotting loads of like different things in but oh well I might have to just do some outside so this is also like a um, a kitchen item it's like a cornered uh, version of like I'm not gonna delete this okay so we can put this in so you guys can see so this is like um, a cornered version of like one of these um, things it's just kind of the same as these but it's more like more like a grilling station like a longer version of it I guess with like a corner so that is really nice as well if you wanted to like expand your kitchen it's actually got like the little pickles and stuff on there um, and then I think I've just pulled this out but this is actually like the host station I believe um, for the like it, it kind of would work with um, dine out but it's also you could use it just like to look as a, like a checkout really like it looks like the checkouts they use in McDonald's to be honest so that is really useful in a build that would look really good like if you turn them around um, I don't know so that like it faces either way <laughs> Um, we also have this which is like the waiter station but it's actually just like the things they have in McDonald's where they stack the trays up here they've got the recycling on the one side oh what happened there that was so weird um, they have the trays on the one side and then they've been on the other so that's the waiter station I think and then we also have uh, the last object which is this trash can oh I've already got it up as well um, I actually just lost a lot of footage so I've just had to come back and sort of like record record it again so it's sorry that they're already up but this is the um, trash can you can change the colours as well I forgot to mention a lot of the objects have like several different like sort of swatches that you can use on um, them to make them different colours which is really really nice um, not everything does but you can have some more like bright colours or you can go for like more neutrals for example there's different like um, versions of things as well um, like this has got different like boards um, where you can have different shades not shades different <laughs> foods so like, there's one for drinks and things like that so those are really useful to keep in mind as well um, like I said they've all got different colours um, is this one got a different let me just check with this yes okay this has got different colours too it doesn't change the picture though so we just have that static picture but yeah I'm gonna show you guys um, it, like how they interact with the sim um, and kind of like if they're functional objects which ones are functional and which ones aren't um, so I'm going to show you guys that but um, before that I just wanted to mention that this is like super inspiring me to do a build I don't usually do builds with CC but I really really want to do a build like of a McDonald's restaurant so uh, Not in this video obviously, but maybe um, in the future you might see one of those coming to my channel um, I'm making my own fast food restaurant if you guys have this pack too that you can enjoy and download as well so um, yeah, we'll see but I am looking forward to having a go with this CC and having some building time but yeah, I'm going to show you guys how it looks sort of like in the live mode, I guess, um, just now. Okay, so I actually got a, oh, I got a sim um, to like move into the lot. Like, I haven't got it set up as a restaurant, to be honest. So I don't know whether like some of these may work if you own the restaurant. I assume like this would because this is to do with like the um, owning your own restaurant and then this as well. Um, so like yeah you can disallow new customers for example that is the hostess ho like a mod of like the host table or whatever it's called but this definitely works as a trash can um, don't have any trash to put in it but um, the other objects such as like um, these they I think they're just decorative like when I click on them it says I can admire them they're just like just there for decoration but I really like how it's got actually um, moving water and if you listen really carefully it's actually got like a sizzling noise so that is really really cool like they do have like beeping and whirring noises um they are like moving they're not just static objects so i just really think that is worth mentioning even though they don't actually work as ovens i don't believe they're just um mainly for like the show um i don't think this one does either the chip fryer i don't think so um and then these as well, they are just decorative objects. They don't actually have a function, I don't think. Um, 
but these do i think these are like for the if you actually set up as a restaurant then it would work so yeah so these are the objects i really love this pack i am like super inspired by this pack to try and build my own fast food restaurant i may try um uh, there might be a speed build coming soon um if you guys would be interested in seeing that but um, yeah, this was the pack by Little Deka. So like I said, if you guys are interested and you want to download it, then head over to their Patreon and you can download it for yourself. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been a long time, but hopefully I can be back to making some mod videos for you guys. I really, really love finding new mods and discovering things and sharing them with you guys. So um, yeah, these just make me really pleased and happy to do for you guys. So yeah, if you enjoyed this, then remember to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up and a like, um, show that you like it and that you want to see more mod videos. Um, and yeah, I will see you all guys in my next video. Bye guys. I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down